Hundreds of electrical workers, some from out of state, have been working around the clock this week to restore power all across East Texas. KLTV's J.D. Conti was in New London where SWEPCO leaders talked about the progress they've made so far. Linemen are hard at work across East Texas after Tuesday's storm knocked out power to thousands. These SWEPCO workers are from Mississippi. Hundreds of workers have come to the area to help get the lights back on. As of today, 282 resources that have come in. They're from Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, other parts of Texas that have come and responded to help us, just like we go to help them with mutual assistance when they're out of power. Mark Robinson says SWEPCO linemen are working longer days as they power things back up. We're working 16-hour days. It's a mandatory eight-hour uh, shutdown every day. Of course, when we get into day five and six and seven, it's really important that our folks are resting. We, we obviously do that at night when we can't quite get as much done. We can't see where we're at. On this road just outside of New London, crews are putting up a cross arm to help replace a pole that was broken by a tree. Robinson says they saw some of the heaviest damage in this area. Took down a transformer, also took down all three phases of line here, and so that's what they're actively trying to put back up. SWEPCO reported as many as 19,000 customers without power in their Longview district on Tuesday. As of Wednesday morning, they had just over 5,000. For those who still don't have power, Robinson says they're coming. But those 5,000 that are out today, they're a lot like this. It's hard to access on the other side of fences, in backyards, down in some pretty muddy area. And so they're very hard to get. And so it's not going to drop quite that fast today. We're getting into the nitty-gritty restoration process now. J.D. Conti, KLTV 7 News.